that, where's my finger, that is the V-Birth of my sailboat. Now the V-Birth has a very strange triangle shaped, triangle shaped mattress, like all V-Birth and all monohulls. Very odd shaped mattress. The question becomes, where do you get a sheet to fit on this strange mattress shape? Can you go to your local department store and say, I need a triangle shaped mattress? I Can you go to your local department store and say that you need a triangle shaped sheet for your triangle shaped mattress? No, absolutely not, come on. That's why I'm excited today because some folks at the company called Shop, let me get this right, shopyachtbedding.com, shopyachtbedding.com have sent me a little care package which is actually a DIY uh, measurement template so you can measure your own mattress and then you send that template back to them and then they will ship you a new fitted sheet. Like I've said before, I'm not always peddling products, but lately I've gotten a few things in the mail that people have sent me that I thought were interesting. Wanted to show you because frankly, I have actually wondered where can you get a sheet for that weird triangle shaped mattress. That's why I was interested when they sent me the little care package. So let's open it up and see how we can get a custom measurement for this template to then send back to them to have them make us a fitted sheet. Shopyachtbedding.com. Include a Sharpie. Include. Okay, perfect. They sent me a self addressed package to send everything in whenever I need to ship it back. Sent me some business cards. Where are they? They're actually in Toronto. They're actually out of Toronto, so you Canadians, maybe you can get a discount. Okay, cool. It's easy, it's easy. Do it yourself. It's a step by step do it yourself kit. One, remove the plastic and marker. Got it, checked. Two, lay the plastic evenly over the entire mattress. Three, draw the outline of your mattress on the plastic with the marker provided. Also draw a line to show the height of your mattress. Examples for reference can be found on our website. Four, fold up the plastic, place it in the shipping envelope provided, and mail it back to them. Simple. Simple. Okay, so I'm on the mattress right now. Somebody sent me this as well, but don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I've got the plastic laid out, although I'm gonna have to lay out more of it to cover this mattress. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay quite the large piece of plastic. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry to say, folks at shopyachtbedding.com, this plastic thing is not working. Um, it's crazy. I'm, I have to, I'm here extended. First of all, you can't, on a boat, a V-berth, it's not like you can just walk around you know, the bed and uh, get a tracing, get a sketch made of the bed, uh, the mattress. You have to, I mean, I'm like, you know, I got this much room ahead in my head. I'm hitting the, hitting the top with my head. I'm going up here like this, Superman style, trying to put the plastic down. And I'm not, there's no way at all that I'm gonna be able to get the plastic completely flat. Um, because as soon as I start, I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna use the marker on it, but then as soon as I get to the top, the head of the bed, I'm gonna have to get onto the plastic like this, and then it's gonna mess up the measurements. That's what I would think. I think it would be easier, I think it would be much easier just to measure the edges of the mattress and say, look, the foot, essentially the foot of the bed is however many inches, the sides are this, the top has a, it's not a it's not a perfect triangle because it's actually flat at the top. What is that called? Like a trapezoid or whatever. So it's like a trapezoid, and then we'll do some math and we'll figure out exactly what you need to do for the the size of it. I think this plastic thing is not going to be precise. It's not going to be accurate. 
<sighs> anyway, let's keep going with the plastic. I think this is another reason they're sending stuff to me to give them some feedback, and that's what I'm doing. I love the idea that you can get a custom fitted sheet for this weird shaped mattress. Uh, but I don't know about this, this whole plastic uh, template thing. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, because every time I'm gonna need to get over this section, I'm gonna put weight on it, okay? Uh, this is gonna be something special. This is gonna be something special. Okay, marker. I'm going to start with the foot here. This is this, the top of the mattress. Now, maybe if you took this mattress like outside and laid it out, I mean, you know, but it's not very easy to maneuver for one. I probably can't even take this mattress out. I mean, it's very, yeah, it's not very easy to get in and out of the doorway. All right. Uh, now I'm getting the mount marker all over my shirt. Okay. I'm going to have to crawl up here to get over here and it's gonna completely, oh my goodness. As soon as I put my weight on it, this line over here has now come over to me like four inches. Look at this, it's out of control. Absolutely out of control. That line, that line was here as soon as I put my knees on it. So how am I gonna draw this thing? No, no, no. So it's gonna be much easier just to measure all right i don't even want to waste their time or my time trying to get that plot where's the door I'm trying to get that plastic wrap measured i'm going to measure it with a tape measure and that's going to be so much easier okay i've taken off this plastic now i'm going to measure the tape measure Tape measure. It's simple. It's a simple thing. 84. Okay, it's 88 inches on the foot. Okay. 7, 88 by 88 by 77. Eighty-eight by seventy-seven. This part at the top is uh, is what by thirty. Okay. Eighty-eight at the foot, seventy-seven on each side, and thirty at the head. Easy. And finally, it's not very thick. I can tell you that. It's like four inches thick. Four inches thick. Four inches thick. So thank you, Alicia, Alicia, owner of shopyachtbedding.com. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I didn't necessarily need the plastic stuff, so I went ahead and just did a little diagram. Hopefully this is going to be sufficient. I'll try to convert this into centimeters for Canadian. I'm going to email, instead of messing with the postage because my plastic bag is completely ruined, I'm going to go ahead and just email Alicia or Alicia with those dimensions and then she'll get back to me and then we will get back to see what she sends us in the mail in three, two, one. Okay, it's a few days later and Alicia did not disappoint. She has sent me, after I sent her the email with the measurements from the mattress, she has sent me this box right here, which contains, I assume, the sheets. We're gonna open that in a moment, but before that, I actually wanted you all to get to know Alicia real quick. Let's just check this out. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Bergeron and I'm the owner and operator of Shop Yacht Bedding. Here's a little bit of information about myself and my company. After I was approached by some friends who were unable to find custom bedding for their unique shaped mattresses, I realized this is a problem that many yacht and boat owners face. Here at Shop Yacht Bedding, we are proud to provide solutions for any shape and size of mattress, no matter how complex the mattress is. We are the first company to specialize exclusively in custom bedding, making us experts in the industry, while providing all of our products and services completely online, including the measuring process. Some products that we have but are not limited to are fitted sheets, flat sheets, 
shape blankets, bed runners, and more. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool idea. I mean, how many times do we see these sponsored videos and we hear kind of, we, you know, our, our brains kind of turn it off because it's kind of a commercial. But in this case, it's a, I thought it would be interesting to meet the person behind the business, right? She's a young person who is passionate about boating. She's passionate about business, a young entrepreneur who had the guts to start her own business about something she's interested in. And she's doing pretty well. She's been open a couple of years. So yeah, I thought it would be kind of interesting for you to hear her story. So let's get into this box, check out these sheets. But first, I just noticed something. I just noticed a boat. About a hundred meters from here is, there's a guy on the boat right now, let's check it out. It's like the most beautiful boat that I've seen around this harbor. And I wanna show you guys if we can get over there before he leaves. Let's paddle over there. Beautiful. Do you know what year it is? Which year is it, Bob? 53. Oh, wow. Is it your boat or? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about it? I'm actually gonna make a little video. Oh, Bob, go ahead. Uh, this is your chance. <laughs> Well, I, I just happened to run into the owner, and just coincidentally, can you tell me any about this boat? 1953 Sparkman and Stevens design, built in the Plym Yard in Sweden. She's basically built out of one uh, African mahogany hull in a big hunk of teak. Built in 53, Rod Stevens was in charge of the project. He was uh, re-keeled in 59 when Columbia was being designed in run through the tank test at the same time. Huh. Very similar to Columbia's look, her original look. It's beautiful. You. you said the boat's for sale? Yep. Do you know the price yet or? <laughs> Somewhere between two and three, depending on what I get finished this. Gotcha, month. gotcha. Trying to get everything done on it. Yeah. So everything's working, everything's new and. Incredible. Okay, I'll get a couple of photos of it, thank you. Yeah, that paint job is 25 years old on a wood boat. Mm. On the white on the hull? Yep. Mm. Still looks good. Pretty stable for 25 years. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. This is incredible, wow. This is so nice. Look at this thing. It's helm pedestal. It's just incredible. Look at how nice this is. All right, well that was pretty cool. We just uh, just so happened to time it right so we were able to meet Bob, the owner of the vessel. Beautiful vessel. I'm gonna do some research about that. Uh, all right, let's get back to my boat. Let's check out the sheets sent by Alicia and let's finish up this video. All right, let's rip into this thing. Okay, the big reveal. Oh wow, nice. Elegantly packaged for sure. Very nice. Very impressed. You're doing good work. Here we go. All right, beautiful. This is 100% cotton. Made in Canada. A second set. I think it's a set. Oh, this must be the fitted. This is the fitted. This is the fitted sheet. And this is the flat sheet, and I think she also included some pillow cases. Oh my goodness! Alicia, you are awesome! Alright, let's get these sheets on the mattress and see how it looks. Three, two, one. Absolutely stunning.
Okay, let's try them out. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, these feel nice. These are nice. A perfect fit. The material is very high quality. I'm impressed with this material. It's a soft cotton. It's a thick material. Really well done, Alicia. Thank you very much. And I'm not just saying that because I feel bad that I made fun of your plastic, uh, plastic bag template idea. I'm sure that might work in certain cases, just not in my case. But thank you very much. Be sure to check out shopyachtbedding.com. Also go over to Instagram and say hi to Alicia. Make sure you tell her you saw this video. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. I'm gonna take a nap. Uh.